What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel The Sefa. Today is Friday and they love to do washdowns on Fridays. I know I did a video, uh, I think it's my third video ever of uh, yachting where I said I clean a yacht but that was just a demonstration of the bow and I explained a little bit but today I'm gonna show you guys the full washdown on this beauty so check it out cheers so first we take off the covers you can see it's very filthy over there Look here. see so this boat needs a good wash so we just take this off and fold it and then we'll start washing needs a When you wash a yacht, you wash everything. Take all the covers off, everything. Look at that, it is under the covers. So this is the before. Look over here. It's this dirt that pulled up. I'll show you the results afterwards. Very important, wear shoes. It helps uh, for non-slip, so you don't slip and fall or bump your toes into things. Uh, people can or people break their toes, so get shoes when you do washdown and in general when you work on deck. Don't be like me. Barefoot everywhere. You know the rules: start from the top to bottom, and you'll need a blue brush some soap this boat use this boat soap and this is for drying afterwards let's get into it So my colleague is washing, I'm rinsing, it's done, as soon as he's done washing, I'm rinsing it off and then uh, we'll start drying. Make sure you get all the soap off. No soap is allowed to stay behind. Take no prisoners. So while my colleague is uh, busy drying this, I'm gonna step down from the mask and then I'm gonna do the bridge area. So 
that is actually the bridge and I'm gonna start wash and he'll come and rinse or dry and that's how we work as a team this I need to move this need to go water on This is called a mitt and you can put your hand in there and then wash, 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 wash. Come on, come on. So most of these, this dirt does not want to come off. And what we will do is we will polish the boat so when i make the video about the polishing in the future should be in a couple of weeks um that dirt will come off so don't stress too much about that and if it's not as much dirt you can always use a marine polish that's what i usually use i know a lot of guys use orchid i don't know why but um marine polish works for me so but yeah we we polishing the the whole boat in a couple of weeks so i'm not just stressed about that good rinse again make sure you get all the soap off Hey, that's me. Cheers, how's it? You put it down to the next level so that the area that you're busy rinsing don't get soapy again. And that's it. Okay, that was not the bridge. That was the sun deck, okay? So forget what I was saying about the bridge. That was the sun deck. I repeat, that was the sun deck. Sun deck, bridge. Now I'm gonna start with the bridge. <laughs> My bad. Starting with the bridge. The bridge, not sun deck, bridge. Remember, you want to wash everything, so pull this away like that, and you'll see it's dirty over there. So, make sure you pull everything away, take it off if you can, like this. Super easy. This one is gonna keep on going back, any anyway, case. So, just pull that away when you wash it, and you want to get to every corner that you possibly can.
Chief. and it's gonna be all gone. Looks a lot better. Uh, I'm not gonna bother trying because it's raining. So, rain or shine, baby. When you rinse down, make sure you get the soap on the teak. You don't want to leave any soap behind on the teak. It will sit there and next time when you want to dry the teak or wet it again, it's just going to be soapy all over again. So make sure you get, get all the soap. You don't want that to go into your chamois, your deck chamois. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but the deck is running on a slope so it's running down and whenever you rinse you want to start from top and rinse it down so as you can see it's easier than if you start from the top uh, the, the bottom to the top you're gonna rinse wherever so always go down the slope this makes your life so much easier and get all that soap off and it's raining but the sun is still out <clears throat> crazy well maybe that's that's the cloud onto the bow and make sure you get the overboard when you rinse it and wash it It's raining! At least the rain is helping with the uh, rinsing. So, uh, less rinsing for me. Well, a little bit. So what happens when it starts raining, you ask? And you're busy washing. <laughs> well, it's raining and you keep on washing. The only thing you won't do is you won't dry, okay? Some captains will tell you and make a joke and say, get the chamois and start drying. It's just a joke, don't take it personally. So yeah, but uh, if, it, it, if it rains, starts raining like now, it's pouring down. You just keep on washing and then uh, 
afterwards you start uh, rinsing again and that's it no problem it does help you a little bit to rinse the boat and you don't have to wet the boat before you start washing because it's wet already there's a spot so i finished on a bow just in the front and now i'm starting on the starboard side which is this side and then i'll move to the back on uh, the sun deck aft sun deck aft below us is the main deck so we will probably finish on that part so there's not much to wash still uh, I will show you guys what we do with the teak we do give the teak a little bit of scrub with a uh, simple green just to get most of the dirt off for the deck head Quick rinse. So this is just a simple green with a lemon scent and we're just giving it a scrub to get that dirt off it's nothing special um, it, the symbol green is a degreaser so any oils or dirt it will usually get it off as you can see there a lot of dirt coming off That's all the dirt that came off the tick. So it's just to maintain the tick. So when we clean the tick properly with uh, eco-friendly powder, it's easier to get it clean than just leave it for weeks and weeks and weeks and it builds up and up. And then you struggle to get it off. Or well, not struggle, uh, it just takes longer to get it clean properly. The final deck, finally. So I'm on the port side, main deck. And this is the last deck, very small, probably quick to do. Windows, deck head. And then give this a quick scrub. And then also the outboards. And then obviously the inboards that I'm gonna wash. So, and then I'll move down to the swim platform, which I'll show you a little bit later. But for now, I'll just quickly, quickly, <laughs> quickly wash this down. <laughs> Drizzling, a little bit raining, but this is covered the, the decade, so we can try this. Simple, I just drag it with a yellow blade.
will see this um, water droplets around the light. I'll just go take a chamois. That's it. Nice and clean and shiny and dry. We move on to the next one. There you go. So remember, always start from the top. So we do the decade first and then this side. Because water obviously runs down. And then you can do the edge like that. This is quick usually. And then when that is dry, you can do the window. Luckily today is not hot, so otherwise this would have dried very quickly. Nice and shiny and clean and dry. Ooh, look at my hair. Looks like a cow licked me. Okay, I'm gonna start with the outboards. So this is called outboards. I'm gonna do it from the dock. This is a dock. That's my plucky. And it's just easier from the dock because you can put more pressure on the brush and get it cleaned properly you can reach all the corners whereas if you do it from the deck it's harder to get into the corners and put some pressure on that so it's just basic simple just like a normal wash down wash it rinse it and i'm not gonna dry it because it's still drizzling so i'll just waste my time and we are not going to do the main deck aft the contractors are still busy so we can't wet that area just want to show you i hope you can see Before my battery dies, I just want to say thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and please don't forget to tell your dog, your auntie, your cat, your raccoon, your what else, the dolphin, your tiger. Tell them to subscribe as well, please. 
and if they don't have YouTube accounts open them a YouTube account and let them subscribe to this channel just thanks for watching